Some days ago, I went for a stroll in Berlin with this strange looking device, asking people what they think it would do. This is Herman from Visaya, and let's see what people had to say. I don't know. No, I can't. I think it's kind of thermometer or something. Oh, wait a minute. Um, test? Test, yeah. I think this is Harry Potter's lost wand. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or the lightsaber for the new Star Wars movie. Alcohol tester. Something to put it in liquid, and then... Um, <laughs> it's a pencil. To measure something. Yes. yes. Like alcohol, drugs or whatever. Oh. It's got to be a new light. Light source, I don't know. I got no idea. It's definitely a measuring instrument. Yeah. yeah. Good. What does it really measure? Temperature. Elements there are in The taste, if it's sweet, bitter, sour. You okay. said acidity, but I don't know. Acidity. Acidity. A pH, pH, uh, pH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pH. It's a pH. Uh, All right, cool. A, what we have here is a pH electrode. One, if not the best tool we have to determine if a solution is acid or alkaline. Okay, but let's take a step back and define what pH really is. pH has a scale from 0 to 14, with water at 7 as a natural solution. Acid solutions have pH values below 7 and alkaline solutions above 7. This value varies depending on the concentration of positive hydrogen ions in the solution. Strong acids release a higher number of hydrogen ions. Ions are positively charged, and a pH electrode like this one has a reference cell that is able to detect a potential difference in the system. This potential depends directly on the concentration of hydrogen ions. This is the basis for modern pH measurement systems. The only thing missing here is a pH meter. pH meters transduce the potential value into a pH value. Modern pH meters are able to send this information as a digital signal that is more stable and able to carry more information than an analog loop. Let's talk about the origins of pH. This concept was developed by SPL Sorensen in 1909 while working in the Kalsberg laboratory in Copenhagen. This laboratory was actually founded by J.C. Jacobsen, who wanted to promote the brewing science and share the secrets for a great quality beer. pH measurement is performing breweries to measure the source of water, mesh and wort during the brewing process, as well as the final pH of the product. At the end, the final pH of a beer gives you the flavor and taste, and if you can keep track of your pH measurement, you can make quality beer. For now, I will enjoy a glass of pale ale. Thank you for watching and I see you next week.